Well, it's Monday and it's hot. We're having to work outside. Oh, uh, we brought the car up to uh, my brother-in-law's place so we'd be able to weld on it, but uh, he's got a truck in the basement he's working on, so we're working outside. I don't, I don't know if Dylan's gonna be able to hold out or not, but uh, he's got his winter coat on, so. Oh, uh, anyway, we're gonna, we'll start trying to make more videos working on this thing, but uh, we're oh, gonna yeah. check, salvageable. we're gonna check out a couple of things today, and uh, our starter broke Saturday night. He, uh, they had to push start him for the feature, so uh, he's pulling it off right now. Check it out. Uh, if you follow our Facebook page, you've seen the right front shock already was bent up, so we're going to have to relocate it, do something different on it, and uh, also we think something's wrong with the left rear brake caliper, so we're going to check it out, but anyway, y'all hang out with us today, and we're going to go through this thing, try to get everything fixed up. I guess our next race is probably going to be two weeks gonna be 5,000 to win at North Alabama. So uh, see if we can get everything, yeah. everything fixed up and ready to go for that race. We definitely, definitely don't need any bad luck there. What's it look like? He said he thinks the starter may be salvageable. So that'll definitely help. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get to work here and see what all we find wrong. Oh, they up here. <laughs> what? So we may have got lucky on the starter. I think these two bolts right here in the front was just loose and letting it, letting it turn, so. That ain't gonna keep that from turning, is it? Yeah, it should. I don't know how. What else is supposed to keep it from turning? I don't know. I don't see how those will. Can we take it apart? But I don't we're know, we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna tighten these bolts up and see if it fixes it, I guess. Let's take it apart. Made different than most of them I've seen. That's got to be what holds it. I guess it is. I guess it does. It just pinch it. Yeah, it sinks down in there. Okay. See, it's got angle on it, and that pulls down in there tight on it. It holds okay. it. I guess that's it. That helps a lot. That'll save us two hundred dollars. So here's the shock that come off of it. See the fish hook on the end. We really ain't 100% sure what caused that. We, uh, we'd actually remounted it twice Saturday before we went to the racetrack. I figured it had a big dent in the body somewhere. It caused it to jam up. It's got some scratches on it, but not, a, not really a major dent. So anyway, we fixed and pulled the spring out of it, put another shock on it and run it through travel and uh, see, see if we can figure out where it's hitting or what's causing that. Can't afford many of those leaks for sure. Right there. That's where it got it. Mm -hmm. What do you think it was getting a wet for? Well, I'm going to get it out of y'all's way, my fella. Well, don't load too much. All right. I can't run to come out. Beat me with a stitch. <laughs> well, time I got to the wall or anything. we thought we had plenty of clearance, but uh, obviously we don't. When it travels that far, which I didn't think it would ever travel that far, it hits. That's got to be where it bent it. So I don't know how it ever traveled over that far. Look at this one. That's right, same spot, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. So we're going to have to drill a hole on the bottom of the A-frame, scoop that in, and it'll clear. No, I don't think that's what we're going to do. What are we going to do? We're going to remount the top. It don't matter where you mount the top. Well, the only place we could see this thing hit was when it was all the way at the top. I wouldn't have thought the car would ever roll that far, but apparently it did, because that's exactly where the shock was meant. So uh, we put another shock on there and pushed it up far as it'll go leaned it in just a little bit we're gonna weld a new mount on it there and uh hopefully it clears this time well like i said i don't i don't know how it ever hit the first time but apparently it did so 
But at least her starter was good. We ain't got any bent spindles. Uh, we are going to have to buy a brake caliper. The bolt pulled through the brake caliper on the left rear. But uh, do that and go through everything. And uh, we should be good to go for North Alabama in a couple of weeks. Got the car washed. Still working on relocating the shock. We got to get a uh, slug. Uh, slug to go in the in the tube. I think that's how we're gonna do that. But starter was good. Got everything about ready to go. Gonna have to pull the roof off. I guess if we ain't gonna race to North Alabama. It's gonna be a topless race. Still, and looking forward to that. But uh, cool. I told him nobody wants to see him topless. But <laughs> I guess we're gonna pull it off anyway. But. Uh, Car's pretty close, pretty close to being ready to go, but found a leak in the radiator, so we're gonna have to take it and get it fixed. But other than that, just need to go over everything, nut and bolt it, and try to get some new tires to put on, and we'll be ready to roll. Ready to rock and roll. We're back at it on a Monday, Labor Day. Dylan got a day off work, so he's gonna labor on the race car. The roof's coming off. I guess we're officially going topless this weekend. Uh, still gotta, still gotta work on the shop and get some clearance there, and uh, a couple other little things we gotta finish up. But uh, not a whole lot. We should have this thing ready to go pretty easy by Saturday. Be ready to go run for 5K awesome, North Alabama topless. Awesome. Right. We'll set. Turn it down under. I'll I doubt it. Well, it's officially topless. The first time we've ever ran like that. Yeah, I ain't a big fan of it myself. But I guess it is what it is. It's mandatory, so we had to pull it off. I think Dylan's kind of looking forward to it. Not me. Shock mounts relocated. I think, pretty sure we got it where it's gonna clear now. So, uh, gonna get to work on this left rear brake caliper. Dylan got out of the car the other night and he told me he could feel the heat off the brake on the back of his seat. And uh, when I was editing the video last week, I uh, noticed this in the video. Y'all check this out. He pulled off the track and got out of the car and I don't know, it'd been a few minutes and it was still still smoke rolling. So uh something going on with this brake caliper. He said the boat's pulled through it or something, so he's gonna take it off and uh I'm gonna go get another one from the parts store because that's how we roll around here, no fancy stuff for us. But uh we're gonna get this thing changed and uh getting close. We should should be ready to go for too much longer. Well, we got lucky on that one. Turns out the brake caliper was good. It just had a, one of the bushings going out of it. I think it was uh, just wasn't holding it straight, let it bind up and drag. So we're just gonna bolt it back on. Dylan found a bushing in the trailer. We'll be good to go on that. Dylan finally recruited Brian to come help, so actually got a little bit of something done. Listen, torch right? I reckon all, all we gotta do now is put the spring back in it. 
Oh. Tire work. The amount of tires. And uh, finished welding it, break it up. Dylan just tacked it. I don't trust his welding, so he's gonna have Landon come down and weld it. But get that done, we'll be ready to head north Alabama. So uh, y'all uh, do us a favor. Subscribe to our page, give us a like, comment. If you watched last week's video, tell me if you like the picture in picture or not. Give us $200, whatever. Yeah, whatever you want to do. So, <laughs> But anyway, until this weekend, we out.